talking about Caspa, <clears throat> the difference between Caspa and Quai, there's there's a couple differences. Um, what Caspa is doing is effectively creating an unordered DAG, um, where we have sort of a strict hierarchically ordered system. That's the root of the difference, but that has huge implications in terms of the outcome. With Caspa, they are effectively allowing blocks to interfere with each other, and then they are resolving conflicts after the fact. And that becomes a, sort of an MP hard problem, depending on sort of how fractured your DAG is and how many transactions uh, you're trying to process. And it also becomes inordinately more expensive when you move outside of the UTXO environment. So they can do all right with UTXOs. I think they'll be able to maybe get to 700 TPS, but I think they're gonna tap out at that point. And there's nothing they can really do to improve throughput. Within <clears throat> a ordered hierarchical system, we resolve ordering before we create a block, not after we create a block. So our computation of state transitions is always finite um, and is always non-interfering amongst the different blocks. So what that means is we can do things like account-based systems. So uh, like Caspa will never really have account-based systems. They will never really have expressive smart contracts. We have smart contracts on account-based ledgers and we also have UTXOs. Now, the other thing that isn't obvious about the difference is that it allows the uh, miners and the nodes to actually run as shards, meaning they don't have to transmit all the data and they don't have to store all the data in our system, whereas they would in Caspa. Um, so we have shards, we have threads, and then the other thing that we were talking about earlier is that we also have subnets. And none of those things are compatible with Caspa. So unlike Caspa, which will tap out at, you know, 700 TPS, we're optimistic we will be able to get to a thousand, potentially a thousand TPS per shard. And we have a total limit of 256 shards in the system, which means we'll cap out at a quarter million transactions per second.